This is a recording of our playbook. Download the playbook, configuration spreadsheet, and ABA Lab environment from our website. In this playbook, we add a Cisco Unity Connection dial plan that meets the Enterprise 20 requirements. The ABA Multisite Collaboration Lab was designed to run the playbooks for the Enterprise 20 Cisco Collaboration Solution. The Cisco Unity Connection Deployment and Integration module covers adding a CUC cluster to the Multisite Collaboration Lab and building a base image to use to load COBRA's solutions, integrating the Enterprise 20 CUCM and CUC AJ clusters, and building a Cisco Unity Connection dial plan supporting Enterprise 20 requirements. Our goal is to facilitate collaboration. We want to maximize the ROI on our Cisco Collaboration Solution investment. How do we do that? Let's start with requirements. Enterprise 20 has specific requirements for an internal dial plan. Existing sites are migrating to our Cisco Collaboration Solution. Many sites are using site abbreviated dialing, dialing by extension. Some sites have five digit extensions, some sites have four-digit extensions. Sites have their own auto attendance, allowing transfers to extensions. Customers and partners use these and are familiar with their operation. Forcing everyone to change the way they dial when they move to our collaboration solution is not facilitating collaboration. It's not cheap or convenient either. We don't want to change the way people dial without a really good reason. If we don't have to, why should we? And we don't have to. It's easy to meet this requirement with Cisco Collaboration. We'll use the UC9.x SRND variable length on net dial plan. We built a solution for Enterprise 20. Enterprise 20 has 10 sites across Canada. Each site has a local auto attendant number. Enterprise 20 has global 1 800 numbers with separate auto attendants. The local auto attendants let callers transfer to internal numbers or four or five digit local extensions at the local site. And the global auto attendants let callers transfer to internal numbers only. The Enterprise 20 solution uses a single Cisco Unity Connection AJ cluster that provides local auto attendants at each site and enterprise auto attendants for 1 800 numbers. Callers that dial a local auto attendant can transfer to local four or five digit extensions as they currently do. Callers can always transfer to internal numbers. Each site can customize and manage their own auto attendant or use a common global one. Callers to a site using a common global auto attendant can still transfer to local extensions. And callers that dial Enterprise 21800 numbers reach centrally managed global auto attendants. Hello, Cisco Unity Connection Messaging System. Transfers are only allowed to internal numbers. Enterprise 20 deployed. Cisco Unified Communication Manager hunt pilots for the local auto attendants at each site and the Enterprise 20 1800 numbers. Cisco Unified Communications Manager voicemail pilots and profiles for the local auto attendants at each site. Cisco Unity Connection Partitions and Calling Search Spaces Aligned with the CUCM Internal Dial Plan, and Cisco Unity Connection Routing Rules to direct incoming calls to local site auto attendants to the correct opening greetings and to provide transfers to local extensions. We also use these rules to set the language for the opening greeting. We look at Cisco Unified Communications Manager Configuration first, and Cisco Unity Connection Configuration second. We configure the CUCM side first. Here's our current CUCM voicemail configuration. We need a hunt pilot for each site's local auto attendant. The same hunt list is used for all hunt pilots. We make some adjustments to the current Toronto 55 site hunt pilot to reflect the new configuration. 
Enterprise 20 has these two 1-800 numbers that arrive on the Toronto 55 site PRI or SIP trunk. 1-800-555-9000 corresponds to internal number 8555-9000 and 1-800-555-9001 corresponds to internal number 8555-9001. The version 4.3.1 multi-site PSTN simulation has been updated to include 1-800 routing to the Toronto 55 site. Adjust the configuration of the Toronto 55 site hunt pilot and then copy that hunt pilot to add the other hunt pilots using the information in the hunt pilot and hunt pilot settings tables. Adjust the configuration of the Toronto 55 site hunt pilot using the information in the hunt pilot and hunt pilot settings tables. Copy this hunt pilot to add the other hunt pilots using the information in the hunt pilot and hunt pilot settings tables. Navigate to call routing, route hunt, hunt pilot, find, and confirm that all 12 hunt pilots are present. Each site needs a voicemail pilot and profile. The Global 1800 Enterprise 20 Hunt Pilots do not have corresponding voicemail pilots or profiles. Adjust the configuration of the Toronto 55 site voicemail pilot and then add the remaining voicemail pilots using the information in the voicemail pilot and voicemail pilot settings tables. You can't copy voicemail pilots. You have to add them individually. Navigate to Advanced Features, Voicemail, Voicemail Pilot, Find, and confirm that all 12 voicemail pilots, including the default and no voicemail voicemail pilots, are present. Adjust the configuration of the Toronto 55 site voicemail profile and then copy that voicemail profile to add the remaining voicemail profiles using the information in the voicemail profile and voicemail profile settings tables. Navigate to Advanced Features, Voicemail, Voicemail Profile, Find, and confirm that all 12 voicemail profiles, including the default and no voicemail voicemail profiles, are present. Hooray! We built hunt pilots for each site's local auto attendants and for two Enterprise 20 Global 1800 numbers voicemail pilots for each site's local auto attendants, and voicemail profiles for each site's local auto attendants. We need to assign the correct voicemail profiles to the lines at each site. We'll use BAT to do that in the Update Test Phones section of this playbook. Part 2 looks at CUC configuration. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.